Hi, it's Warren here from Perfect Space 360. So this is a quick video today to talk about the firmware update for the Samsung G360 camera um, that was released on the 14th of June. Um, so I'll quickly just talk about what the claim um, improvements are. So it's a 320 megabyte update and the software update can include but it's not limited to time-lapse manual added on board camera settings so you can set the video resolution. Uh, front read lens adjustment for optimized color matching from each uh, each lens input and image quality improvement um, it, that, that's a general improvement um, so it took a little while to download um, so you actually need the Samsung Key Manager app on the phone um, for the firmware to be downloaded and it's pushed out to the camera via the app I don't think at this point in time you can actually update the camera firmware without the uh, without a Samsung phone, um, but I may be wrong on that. But I haven't been able to find how you can actually uh, update the firmware without a phone at this point in time. So as I said, it took a little bit longer than expected. I think when um, when I first downloaded it, it was straight when it was straight when it was released. So maybe everyone else was hitting the Samsung side. It was actually taking quite a long while to download the 320 meg, but um, it, it worked. It went through. It's uh, updated okay. So let's talk about each of the improvement that is claimed to have changed to the camera. The first change from the firmware is allowing the user to change the time lapse um, video resolution on camera. Um, so that's actually in the settings menu now. There's within the within the settings menu. There's a time lapse. Uh, option and within it you can choose the two resolution that you choose from um, which is great so you can change the resolution of the time lapse which is always handy um, but I'm a little bit disappointed that they didn't allow you to change the time lapse interval which is probably even more handier than changing the resolution. Set the resolution you probably only set it once um, and once it's done it's unlikely well for me where I would not change it again I'll set it the highest resolution but I don't care if I change it on the phone or on the camera it's done. Whereas a time lapse interval, if that's on camera, then that will be handy because that's that's the one thing you would change for a time lapse. You know, sometimes we want it to be 0.5 seconds, sometimes we want it to be five seconds between each photo. So it's unfortunate that they haven't included that to be an on-camera setting. I hope that they would include that later, uh, amongst other things that I wish they have as well. So we're coming the the next two enhancement with this firmware, the front rear lens adjustment for optimized color and image quality improvement. Honestly, I have to say that I can't actually notice the difference between um, the videos and photos I captured before and after. Um, unfortunately, I got so excited and updated the firmware, I did it straight away without thinking um, how I would actually compare um, the output. So from now on for future firmware, I think what I'll do is before I update the firmware, I'll take a test video and a test photo. And then after the firmware updated, I will take the same photo and same video. So I can show you a comparison of the change in firmware, if there's any improvement, any stitching um, improvement, any quality improvements, any color improvements or whatever improvement they claim to have made. Um, at least I've got something that I can do a direct comparison on. But at this point in time, I can't really see the difference or I can't really notice what they claim the enhancements are. So I'll give Samsung the benefit of the doubt that there is something, but um, but I can't really tell. If you can tell or if you've seen some improvement or a backwards set with the firmware, let me know, put post a comment. I'm interested to find out what other people have thought with this firmware update. Um, so that's basically it. The firmware update is pretty quick. It, it does. It is good to have that extra settings for the um, for the time lapse option. Um, there should be more, but it's definitely a step in the right direction. So that's it with the firmware update. So a few other things that I've been working on. Um, I've also just recently received a new Samsung um, a micro SD Pro card, a Samsung Pro card, which have a write speed of 80 megabytes per second, compared to the Evo that I'm working with, which is a write speed of 20 megabytes per second. So I'll do some testing on the camera and see whether that helps with um, any speed in writing to the camera, any buffering issues that I previously had. Um, I have noticed that previously, um, it did stop me from recording a lot of footage in in quick succession to one another so it actually stopped me from recording at one point when I was recording quite a fair few three to four minutes videos one after the other so I don't know whether it's to do with the, the micro SD card or not or whether it's just overheated 
um, but I will give it a whirl with the pro card with the faster write speed and whether that would fix that issue up because if it was a right issue to the buffer from the buffer um, then hopefully this will eliminate that problem so I'll do some testing I'll report that back to you um, a few other things that we're doing now we we obviously we've got the 365 4k um, finishing up with the review for that so hopefully that will be up in a few days I'm also working on another workflow video just showing you how to uh, change the bottom plate so you have a customized logo at the bottom um, so hopefully that will be helpful to some of you as well there's a few other videos I'm working on which hopefully will be coming out next week um, so there's a lot happening once again thank you for everyone who's watching my videos and all the people that, who have subscribed to my uh, channel um, and thank you to all the comments and all the messages that uh, we have been uh, communicating back and forth. It's always great, great to find other people who either find my videos interesting or have come across issues that you want to talk about. It's great to have that communication with you. So please subscribe and please come back and check out my videos coming out in a few days. Um, hopefully one will coming up tomorrow. Um, and this is it for now for me. Um, it's Warren from Overexposed360. I'll catch you next time. Thank you.